Hey, Aaron from Horn Photo here, and I am so excited. The first clicking caravan of 2020 is coming up January 30th, but this one's gonna be really unique. We're gonna go down to the Heartbeat Boxing Ring. We're gonna be seeing action. All kinds of crazy things are happening, so you need to make sure that you got a flash on your camera. Whether you're using your pop-up flash or an external flash, you need to make sure you bring your flash because that's gonna be one of the best ways to be able to stop the action. This video is gonna be about showing you some great options and great ways to control your flash. And we got a special deal at the end of the video we'll tell you about to save some money if you need to get a flash. All right, so now let's dive into getting the most out of your external flash that you've attached to your camera for this upcoming Click and Caravan. One of the great ways to be able to modify your flash is not just using it straight on, but bouncing the flash. Most flash heads have the ability to rotate, so I can adjust my flash to bounce it off whatever convenient wall or ceiling I have available. So we have three great modes to check out on your flash. The first one is TTL. This is an automatic mode that gives you the ability to not have to worry about the power level. The camera's gonna do it for you. All you do is have the ability to override by minusing or raising the flash power through something called exposure compensation. By pushing the button, spinning down, you get to lower the power or darken the scene or darken the amount of light that's coming from the flash or plus to raise the amount of light coming from the flash. The second great mode to check out is manual mode. This is where you have complete control of the flash. The TTL mode adjusts the power depending on camera settings, whereas manual sets the flash and fires the same amount of power every single time. So the manual mode is a great way to go when you need a repetitive type of shot or repetitive power output from your flash. The last one, and this one's gonna be really fun to use during the boxing, is gonna be the multi-mode. This is going to lower the power of the flash but allow it to burst very quickly. So you're gonna to wanna to have a higher ISO on your camera, use multi-mode and your drive mode so your flash is gonna be able to keep up with your drive mode when using multi. So now that the settings of the camera are dialed in, You've chosen whether you're gonna use TTL with exposure compensation, multi, which will give you some burst for fast action, or manual mode where you're controlling the power completely. Now we can modify the light. Bouncing the light is one way, but another thing to do with, in addition to bouncing, is adding something to the flash to change the shape and look of it. Sometimes you don't have a convenient ceiling to bounce off of. You have to be able to modify the light another way. So this is a nice little simple softbox, something that I can use forward, making the light larger, in turn making it softer, or it's got a convenient front and backside adjustment to be able to throw light forward and up to give me more control. So another great way to be able to adjust your lighting is get the flash above the camera. So using a flash bracket is a great way to be able to adjust the angle of your flash. It allows the flash to sit directly over the lens when you're shooting in a vertical orientation. Also gets the flash a little bit higher to avoid red eye. So this can be a very helpful tool in addition to bouncing and adjusting your flash. Another great way to change the look of your light with your on-camera flash is through modifiers. We have a great line from MagMod. These use rare earth magnets that attach very quickly and give you a lot of variety. There's a whole line of them, so come on into the store so we can show you those. But there's a lot of great options for your flash on camera, whether you're using it directly on camera with a flash bracket. We have lots of great options for you to be able to get the most out of your on-camera flash experience. So, we've learned about flash. We have it covered, but maybe your flash is a little underpowered or you need a new one. ProMaster's got you covered. We got 15% off any ProMaster flash and we're throwing in the batteries, but here's the catch. You gotta pre-register for the Horn Photo Clicking Caravan January 30th. Pre-register for the Clicking Caravan, get 15% off any ProMaster flash in stock, plus we're gonna give you the batteries. So come on down, get registered, come on down, get your flash, and we'll see you at the Clicking Caravan. Can you see how cool this softbox is? This isn't a Nikon flash, so then the camera doesn't recognize that it's Nikon. That's why the pop-up flash popped up. Those lights up and forward. And back. You can get split light with that. 